Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys the steps to configure BitLocker in Windows Server 2025. Before we get started with today's video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, so we're logged into Windows Server 2025, and we just wanna make sure that we're logged in as an administrator or that we have administrator privileges before we move on to the next step. So let's go into our server manager. Again, you can search for that at any time if it's not in your taskbar or already open. Now from here, we're going to access the add roles and features wizard. So in the top right, I'll hit manage right here, and then scroll down to where it says add roles and features, okay? And I'll just take this into the middle here so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. We'll click next on the first page and we're gonna leave this as a role-based or feature-based installation. Let's hit next. Here we wanna select our server from the server pool. Let me go ahead and make this bigger. You can see our server selected there. Okay, here we have server roles. We'll skip that page. We're gonna go on to features. And under features, we want BitLocker drive encryption. Here it's going to include the management tools if applicable. We want to do that and we'll click add features. All right, once we've done that, we can click next, go to the next page here. And there's gonna be a little install button on the right here for install. I'm also gonna check the option to restart the server automatically if required. So just make sure that you're in a place where you can restart your computer or you can leave this option unchecked if you want to go ahead and check that afterwards. I'll click yes, and let's click that little install button down here all the way on the right. All right, guys, we're getting back into our server here. I'm just gonna type in my credentials. And then once we're here, we can see our installation process for BitLocker. Let's go ahead and make sure that that was successful. And we can see installation succeeded on our server. So I'll go ahead and close out of this. And then for now, I'm gonna minimize the server manager and we're gonna hit the Windows Start key here. And let's type in control panel. I'll hit enter on that. And in control panel, we're gonna go system and security. And then from there, we'll go to security and maintenance. Once we're in system and security, let's click BitLocker drive encryption. This next part is pretty straightforward here. Let's go ahead and click turn on BitLocker. All right, guys, and then once we're in the BitLocker drive encryption section here in control panel, let's simply click turn on BitLocker. Okay, and then it's going to give us an option of how we wanna unlock our drive at startup. I'm gonna select the option to enter a password. We could also select to insert a USB drive. And then here I'm going to enter my password. Windows also offers some tips for creating a strong password, which we would highly recommend if you're encrypting sensitive data. All right, and with that, I'll hit next. We also have the option to back up a recovery key. We can print, save to a drive or save to a file. And I'll go ahead and save this in a secure location. All right, my recovery key has been saved. I'll hit next. If we have a new PC, we can go with the option above where it says encrypt used disk space only. If we have an older PC and the drives are already in use, then we may want to encrypt the entire drive. I'll go with the option A for now. This is a new machine here and I'll press next. We'll go with new encryption mode here. We also have compatible mode. I'll go ahead and select next. And then I'll leave the run BitLocker system check enabled. Let's press continue. And it's letting us know that the encryption will begin after our computer restarts. So I'll go ahead and manually start a restart from the Windows Start menu here. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is actually run a check to make sure that it's installed correctly. Okay, and here we can see the drive encryption prompt. So it wants us to enter a password to unlock this drive. This is exactly what we wanted. So I'll enter that password we just made and I'll hit continue. All right guys, at this point we have successfully in all right, guys, at this point, we are completely done with the process of installing and configuring BitLocker on Windows Server 2025. In the event that someone is attempting unauthorized access into your machine, we now have a good, safe method in place to prevent access. We now have a good, we now have an effective method in place to prevent access. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we went over, feel free to drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, 
Be sure to check out Indigo Software, we'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to hear what those are. Most viewer commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching, we'll see you guys next time.